Hello, welcome to Mysteries of Athos. I think this is session 17. Uh, it's a Dark Sun live play for using second edition AD&D. And uh, we, uh, yeah, we're, we've been exploring some, uh, the silver mine in Barlick, which is one of the cities in Dark Sun. The sub-level has uh, been infested by antloids and our heroes have um, killed lots of them, but also run away. Uh, technically, no one has died, which none, none, of the, none of the people who matter, and I mean, none of the PCs have died. Uh, they take a very callous view of the uh, the hired help. Uh, but great. Uh, yes, uh, what happened in the last session? Does anyone want to sum that up uh, for us? We figured hiring some help would be... Well, I think we'll, we'll, uh, we decided... Uh, where do we start? We started with, we spent a whole bunch of money leveling up and realized that our boss would not be happy if we turned back up with no money. So we took the best paying job we, we'd we found, which is like 2,000, is, is it 2,000 ceramic or is it 2,000 silver for this job? I've forgotten. It's a lot of money either way. 1,000. Oh, 1, 1, I think it's 1,000 1, ceramic. Which, in, remember, in Dark Sun, ceramic usually functions as gold, for anyone wondering. Ceramic yeah. is functionally gold uh, because metal is so rare. I, I've, I've weighed quite a lot of money. Um, so, yeah. yeah we yeah. Um, realized it was uh, probably going to be quite a big job, so we hired some help. We, we, we looked for some information first and then went to hire help based off that. So we'd, what, what the job we'd heard was this silver mine's been infested with monsters and people we need to make it safe um the rumors we then found were that people have been acting strange um when these creatures were uh, killing them uh so we figured there's some probably psionic abilities going on um hard to hard to say exactly what given none of us are scions or particularly good at that kind of stuff but they could just hire a siren a, a, a scion assist to ask ask him to help uh, and so we have found a Cylon. A Cylon. <laughs> uh, so we have found a Jaitama. He's definitely not a, a rip off of any other character. Yeah. Um, we also hired some no, just definitely not. simple, simple mercenaries, like probably like first and second level fighters, uh, if that. Um, and then we just went to this. Still yep. mine. Um, we um, we found our way through the actual like serious mind parts of it um, into these these caves they'd broken through into, um, and we quickly uh, quickly found ourselves in combat with these um, these ant-like creatures. Um, Those the fir first one was um, fairly passive uh, until it. We're not quite sure. Still not sure how it hurt us, but you know, we we, we attacked it. It it hurt all of us somehow. I'm still I'm 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 still not sure if that's like a psionic effect or like a curse effect or like just like a poison gas or something, but something like that. Um, and then some more, like three or four of his more mundane soldier types turned up. Um, had a fairly big fight just dealing with those. Uh, but none of us died. Um, I think like like maybe two two of the hirelings died, but we'd hired a, a few of those, so that was fine. Um, what? I think well, you've lost four hirelings because I think three. three you don't you don't even remember their names. Three of them were killed by. <laughs> three of them were killed by the uh, in the incident with the grey thing, the grey blue thing, or whatever it was, uh -huh. and the other. One was killed by a spray to the chest that did 30 damage. Um, so yeah, that that was that. Yeah. And we were on our way out of the mine, I think, at the end. Yeah, so um, we, we, we'd, we have that main fight at the, in this entrance chamber. Um, we then kind of were a little bit more cautious as we continued through. Two of them, two of these soldier types had managed to run so we kind of initially tried to follow them around. Um, we had a, a fight with a, a kind of smaller, very blue one in this um, this first food chamber. Um, 
I'm, I'm, I've been theorizing whether it's a kind of either a juvenile or a worker type. Um, because it, it definitely died very quickly compared to the, the, the other ones. Um, it was small. It was smaller as well. It was like yeah. eight foot long rather than ten foot long or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. We discovered this mm -hmm. great chamber, which was absolutely massive and did not look like a, it was very great at all. Um, it had uh, was the great chamber where the queen or whatever it was was that enormous one. Whatever it was, yeah, yeah. There was a very big one. A very big one, and uh, a whole load more uh, besides that. Um, yeah. We decided not to go in there. Um, went around, found another food chamber. I the think big one was about twenty feet long. Was about twenty feet long and was um, what color? I'm trying to remember. Um, Wasn't it a kind of orange? Apricot color. Yeah. Yeah, orange apricot colour, about twenty foot long, and like big, bat, ab massive abdomen, massive bloated abdomen. Yeah. Um, we continued along, found another food chamber, uh, found this kind of nursery area. Uh, I don't remember we fought anything in the nursery area. We just kind of had a look in there. I think I think I'd kind of uh, suggested it, but we were we were a little bit beat up by then. Um, there were a few in there, less less in there than the grand chamber and this other chamber near the front. Uh, but still, uh, I think a, a few, there were like, there's like, I think a dozen of the blue ones in there. So there were quite a lot, but you know, yeah, maybe we could have weapons. taken them, but uh, maybe not. Um, and we'd also looked in this chamber, there were a fair few in there, like, I think six or seven of the, the, the grey blue ones and some more of the blue ones. So there was quite a lot in there as well. So there's uh, quite a lot of stuff to deal with. Um, at this point, we're full, full, full on retreating. I think we're definitely uh, out, outnumbered. Um, I'd had the idea we could possibly sell uh, the like carapace of these. Um, you know, blue is an exciting color, perhaps. Um, and certainly, uh, the carapace and chitin and yeah. whatnot is uh, useful stuff. Uh, have, have we have we made it all the way back out? Yep. Ah, well. Yeah, you're back at the entrance. Yeah, you're up at. You've gone up the kind of the the tu the low the tunnel where there'd been a break in because these creatures, like whilst they'd begun exploring down, they then kind of got into a chamber which was, if you like, a no man's land. I where they'd met these other things. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, so you're you you get you've gotten back up to the uh, the city soldiers, the Barlock soldiers who are guarding it. Um, well, I guess they're actually probably House Wavir guards because House Wavir operates the the mine on behalf of the city. Was there uh, any oh. useful ore that we saw in these tunnels or not? I think we uh, like you did see some it. powdered silver in one place. Yeah. Okay. So in the so upper works, uh, you had seen quite a lot of half-processed silver in that room where you had the fight. Just if we're talking like whole egg chambers and a big queen and monster thing, I'm just, I was half wondering if it's just worth collapsing mm -hmm. the tunnel and saying, "Okay, you're the the mines now, see." <laughs> But fine, but probably want all of their mind back. Oh, you also found uh, you did find a corpse actually, didn't you? With a with a nice obsidian sword, which I don't know if anyone particularly wanted a obsidian short sword, but uh, there's someone like quite among us one. who can well, use short swords, right? That's okay. Yeah, I think yeah, I think I put it down. Who um, did? Sorry, you think Quintus did? Yeah, I'm, I'm checking. I'm pretty sure Quintus has it on his sheet now. It's... Yes. Yeah, cool. Uh, given it's being described uh, as Jay, re obviously. Sorry. Yeah. Given it's being described um, as quality, it, it... you say what you can say. <laughs> mm. given, given it's being described as quality, it's either I think magical or fine or some kind of um, increased, you know, bonus. So probably worth holding on to. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a do you, do you know a date for note taking purposes? Do I know the date? Do, yeah, do we have like a something I have to write down here to keep, to keep like time? writing reports? <laughs> is is day fifty one? Day fifty one. Okay. Um, 
so uh, Jay, sorry, just, uh, checking with you. Obviously, uh, you asked in chat about uh, well, the question about spells had come up. You spent two magic missiles last time because uh, we know you had that spell, but we didn't know what you had memorized because we obviously didn't have the sheet last time. We do now, but <clears throat> yeah, um, probably the party would find it helpful if they know what spells you have now, uh, or and uh, you, you as well, uh, Asher. Uh, if I spent one burning hands last time, I have one burning hands, one hypnotism, and I get the free cantrip donor. Mm. Okay, so is my um, is my uh, uh, status as a mage known to the party then? You were what? Um, <laughs> a wizard. <laughs> so that is in. It, what what happened was that yeah we had some somatic concealment checks and uh, okay. Uh, certainly, Ash, Ashes was successful. Uh, you had an unsuccessful one, but everyone was in front of you at the time, so there was maybe a question about what had happened. Um, every, there was, so I think I think uh, there were some questions like Quintus had an internal dialogue monologue about whether or not he's like, hmm, could this be a useful person to recruit uh, in the future? Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. I think I, I think I rolled so, a die, yeah. and it came up that I did not suspect you currently. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyone who's hiding their maid status is still unsuspected. Okay. Yay. Um, I did have magic. Oh, I had one magic missile prepared, so um, uh, yeah, not too much of a stretch. Yeah. So I've still got a detect magic, um, and then mm -hmm. level two, I've got a blindness and ray of enfeeblement. Mm. Mm. Good spells. Uh, there's actually some fire. The there's, there's some firepower there. On the <laughs> what just make him go around the dungeon completely blind? <laughs> Don't worry, this is fine. This is normal. Vision, surely. Just focus on the path ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose. Uh, yeah, have like dark, have darkness ten foot radius floating along just behind him, between the wizard and him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, great. Uh, so no, good, good that you know. Um, yeah, it is the afternoon, so it depends. I think there was some question about possibly, yeah. Get, what, what was the general idea? I think there were a few ideas last time. Uh, obviously, Andrew and uh, and Jay now know what happened. So, yeah, yeah plan. What's the plan? I think we should. We've not been paid. We've not done the job yet. I think we should retreat, oh. hire a whole bunch more people, buy a, a like a whole barrel of of flammable liquid, uh, and then come back and do this properly. Hmm. I mean, this is starting to cut into our profit margin at this point. Uh, uh, I mean, if we go in and all die, then that will also cut into our profit margin. Not really. It means fewer people have to split the money between. Oh, you know, something that sort of I mean, we're, we're, we're all working in the, the name of the, the same company, the same profit margin. Uh. You know, skilled individuals such as ourselves are valuable. Got to think of a corporate interest. Well, when you put it like that, let's pay us <laughs> some mood shields. Yeah. You know, pay them like a coin every day. A shiny penny. Yeah. Can we not find one sort of work yeah. exposure? <laughs> I don't think you can get interns willing to, to lay down their life in a, a silver mine. No. <laughs> I mean, if this was uh, 21st century Britain, the answer would be yes. Like Barclays would hire you to go into a silver mine <laughs> as an internship and tell you to be grateful for it. Yeah. Um, I'd say, remember that the monthly cost in ceramic of hirelings is not necessarily that much for a normal soldier. It only depends if you start needing to like either get specialists or you end up, yeah, uh, one thing or another. Like, for instance, a heavy footman is like two gold a month, two ceramic in dark sum. So... Well, we just don't value human life problems. Okay. <laughs> well, well, if a gold is a month's wages, though, potentially, or like in fact less, oh. like a silver is a month's wages, um, it kind of depends, doesn't it? I mean, it costs more to buy a knife than it does to hire a guy to hold it. <laughs> Although I suppose it's not called happy. Uh, life is cheap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bright sun. Man, this is such a nice setting. <laughs> what are the things that go wrong? Sometimes we don't have enough cake. Better bake some more. <laughs> so whether, he, whether he lives or dies is kind of on him, I would say. 
I'm yeah. happy to go with plan, just burn the mic, just burn everything. Well, the, I, I, I put in the chat earlier a plan I'd come up with, which is yeah. we, we enter one of those large rooms full of things. We have, we, we pour oil on the floor, um, then behind that oil we have a row of shieldmen, and behind that row of shieldmen we have a row of spearmen, and behind the row of spearmen we have a row of archers, and then we will fit in wherever we'd fit in best. <laughs> Probably among the spearmen and the archers. Uh, and then we light the oil on fire, and then we shoot the ants, and then they'll be, they'll come to us because they're idiots. Um, and they'll, you know, we'll, we'll have literal <laughs> meat shields in the front, uh, and we'll just kind of kill them all. And then if it all goes wrong, the meat shields are at the front, and we're probably at the back, so we can just run away. Are we certain they will come to us through the fire? Because like, well, you can wait until wild animals will not just walk blindly through fire. Well, you can wait until they walk up to us and then light the fire. Oh, I say. That works better. Yeah. What, we're just going to hock a torch at it, or...? Well, whatever works, you know. Yeah. It's got, I, you know, I, theoretically I could burn it, hands up, but that would require me to be near the front. I mean, if if, if you're feeling particularly bold... I'm not. Uh, that isn't... <laughs> it would require me to be at the front. Well, if we have the right, uh, the right fuel on the floor, then I guess... Um... Yeah. Any any old flame, a torch or something? Yeah. I'm just going to fight the mist, the tunnel. So, the question is, how many men are we yeah. going to want to buy? Because we'll want to have enough to like enough shieldmen to completely block <laughs> off an area of phrasing, well, phrasing. <laughs> how wide is the tunnel, basically? Yeah. What have I said that's wrong? But hang on. <laughs> It's Owen, he'll find something anywhere. How is, is, is it how many men will we need? Is that the issue? Is that what you're taking to exception to? No, that's not what you said, Alex. You did not what say did that. Say? You didn't say that. You didn't say what did, that. What did, what did I say? How many men do we need to buy? Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, it's Dark Souls. You can literally buy a guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah. I don't, there was a thing that one plan for anyone who's only tuning on this for some reason has watched their stuff. The tech plan was <laughs> like, I can just demand slaves do stuff for me. And so there was some suggestion about trying to just send slaves forward as a human shield. And then it was decided this was um, this was none you, and uh, <laughs> they they went away from this plan. Remembering his lawful neutral rather than lawful evil, he decided that this was not a good plan. <laughs> How much does it cost to hire these? Um helpful chaps well, i think what it cost and, beforehand it, it was pretty well, ludicrously Alex, what, what cheap are you gonna say? It? sorry go for it it's, bas it's basically only the sergeant we really need to worry about the cost of because we're going to get to the point where we need a sergeant i think right let's let's make sure we go to a different part of the you city think to so. next, guys because when we come back with the previous hirelings not with us <laughs> and we ask for more men let's, yeah, they might let's, yeah, let's go to a different a different place They've gone to live on a hireling farm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the um, yeah. So I mean, Jay, Jay, question: An archer will be like two gold a month. Light footman one gold a month. Heavy footman two. Um, you're not going to need uh, cank riders or anything. A sergeant is a special cost, which is there has to be one for every ten regulars. There can be one per five. Uh, you avoided that by just being like, can we just have literally five? And that's um, the monthly cost for a sergeant is 10 times the rate of the troops he or she commands. So a sergeant of heavy oh, okay. horsemen costs 60 gold pieces, one of light footmen only 10. So if you've got like, in terms of sh a shield bearer, um, say, I, th uh, I think it's the same as, uh, yeah, it's like two a month or something. So it'd be like 20 for, if you had 10 shield bearers and a sergeant, that'd be, that'd cost um, 40 total. That's that's still not very much. Forty so, gold. So, ceramic. Oh, ceramic. Right. Ceramic. The, yeah, well, we got. Yeah, sorry. We got way yeah. more money it's, than that. I was going to yeah. say forty gold would be four would be four thousand ceramic. So probably not. <laughs> we could just buy the mine for that. Uh, well, actually, what yeah. <laughs> happened to all the money though? Uh, uh, uh I think the... we still had about a you, thousand. You've trained with some of it. I well yeah, yeah exactly. Like oh no, sorry. I'm just yeah. Don't worry. I'm just being a dumbass. Never mind. Uh, you, tra you trained with it. Yeah. Oh uh, no, we you don't trained still with it. Have a uh, we have 
70 silver, which is 700, and two, almost 300 ceramic. 700, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I, was we, looking we at the, I was looking at the weight column, and I thought we only had 1.4 silver, and I was like, oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, we're still decent on money. Um, uh, something. I will have to do that. Uh, you also do get like another thirty-six copper or uh, ceramic or something in the mine. Yeah, oh. I know it's not much, but just uh, for the record. I mean, that nearly pays which for. Which I uh, actually didn't give. I think I think Gargi uh, your XP last time. Might, so might, sort that out. might have pocketed that. So. <laughs> it's, oh yeah, he's got this sword and absolutely nothing else. Who's Gargi? Oh, Beck. Oh, uh, uh, Nessia, Sorry. Yeah. Oh, right. Gargi's not here. No. Nasir, yeah, your uh, your used car dealer bard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay, so if we're tra anyway, if we're travelling back, is the plan that you're just going to tell the Wavir guards here you're travelling back to the city to go and get help? What What are you saying to them? <laughs> Don't yeah. worry, nothing happened. <laughs> I think I think we'll tell them. Yeah. Like tell them roughly what we found. That there's a lot of bad stuff in there. Um. But they they seem fairly passive at the moment, so I I, I think you yeah, know obviously ob that. obviously they should stay vigilant, but they shouldn't be in too much danger. Yeah. Um, we've, we've scouted the mines. We're going to need to bring more more men through for, <laughs> to properly scour them. So it's, it's a two man job. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's going to take us some more parts to need all of them. One of the guards says, "Weren't there like four other guys with you? Where are the other four guys?" No, it's 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 an eight-man job. <laughs> you miss remember. <laughs> yeah. You have one hiling with you who is probably uh, heard. You do have like you have in fact two. You've got a hiling and a henchman because you've got Jaitamar who, yeah. um, and you've got the Fasan assist, and you've got a uh, a single shield bearer who. To be fair, it's Darkson. He's not that traumatized. He's like he's seen, you know, entire regiments burned by um, uh, evil ma magicians or whatever. So he's like, yeah, yeah. Normal I mean, day in the uh, at the office. Jaitamar's looking the worst for wear, I think, isn't he? Because he took he took like thirty damage in a single blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. He had thirty <laughs> hit points and was hit by acid to the tune of thirty. Uh, how many HP does Kent have at the moment, incidentally? Eight, I think we decided. As in, this was somewhat arbitrary. We guessed what your a HP was, and then went down from there. My uh, my Survived HP because... started at twenty five. If that makes a difference. Okay, uh, that was about right. I think we made it twenty three, but you're okay. at eight because that's what we were playing with. That's fine. Um, yeah, I don't remember exactly. We we guessed you were like early to mid twenties. Yeah. Um, in 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 the game, not in real life. Uh, if it. If. <laughs> Aging slowly towards death. Yes, exactly. Oh, <laughs> the real life dark sun, if you will. We live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, does someone want to roll? Um, Alex, do you want to roll a, uh, am I, a, 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 an encounter check? I'm not even at the top of a list this time. <laughs> you are on Six. roll 20. Oh, well... Okay. Yeah, you, you, you spend the rest of the afternoon getting back to the city. Um, I can... Let's... Ah, it's there. Good. Because I do actually have a... Yeah, we've got our Barlick map. So, yeah, you are back in Barlick. Do we have a, a party marker? Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess you, you're going to want to go to the market precinct if you're going to want to get uh, some more human shields. Literally yeah. in this case, because they're shield bearers you want. I suspect we're going to want to find a, a doctor or something first, because I think we're all fairly injured. Uh, and yeah, what are people's what's people's health like? Uh, who is injured? Let's put it that way. Four of nine. Nasir's uh, on about half hit points. Six of eleven. Like I've only taken brain multi damage, so, so physically I'm probably fine. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, so was uh, Adriad damaged by that uh, uh, group attack as well? No. Okay. No, the group attack was two weeks, two times ago. So you were there. You made the save. It was like, hey, I asked you for a save. <laughs> oh, save. that was back then. Oh, great. No worries. Yeah. The thing that like hit the whole yeah no last time was the big the big antloids who just did a ton of damage uh, oh, yeah. Um, cool. yeah cool um yeah the templar did heal someone with the cure light wounds last time but i think that was jaitamar yeah, yeah jaitamar needed uh, yeah. it was only a little bit yeah yeah i was gonna say i i mean I, yeah i guess um, do you have any ideas about how you want to get healed? You, remember, you can just naturally heal. You will heal three yeah. hit points a day doing nothing. But um, it depends. Obviously, that that will slow down your your I mean, efforts. If we take a day, like find a, an actual doctor or something, someone pay some money to to you know heal us, uh, and then go hire some men and go back to it. That's probably worth it. And that would maybe if yeah. we take. Uh, oh, remember, yeah. in terms of timetable. A reminder is that Ash's lead is for not yeah. tonight, but tomorrow night. I was just about to bring that up. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Maybe maybe two days to recover then, so we have, you know, like a, a full day of bed rest and then a part day of bed rest and then deal with Ash's thing and then go back to the mine. Although it's possible that other you, interested groups might get involved in the mine if we leave it too long. You, um, yeah, and it's up to you. I'll go put up um I'll go put up Praetor tape across the mine. Say it's an active uh active <laughs> crime scene. Yeah. I guess yeah, yeah. No one else I was gonna say it. certainly with a law with a with with a law uh praetor of law kind of involved, you probably can you genuinely probably can say, Yeah, don't worry, we're doing it, you know. <laughs> this perhaps this would would How Quintus long that know works? um would would Quintus know other Templars perhaps who might be willing to, to heal us, perhaps in exchange for a uh, a favor or a bribe or <clears throat> i mean yeah you could you could probably pay i assume you could probably pay other ones to do it i wouldn't yeah. want to I, I i wouldn't want to get into a position where i owe other ones favors for it Look, yeah I it's, if we're it's I want great how we trust each other isn't it don't you? <laughs> if we're waiting around for a day that i'll be i'll be fine anyway so you know don't worry about bringing me to see more templars it's cool <laughs> <laughs> I guess the other thing is, like, I imagine most um, actual clerics will avoid cities for the most part, given they are uh, hives of scum and villainy. But uh, I guess there's yeah. not like, <laughs> what what is the cultural attitude towards clerics? Is it just that they're Weird. I guess that's that kind of opposed to sorcerer um, kings, aren't they? They're I think that. Necessarily. Yeah, it kind of depends on the city. Uh, I think I think um, Quintus could probably advise you that uh, uh, going around flashing any sort of obvious magic um, may lead to action first, questions later on the part of Templars. Um, but uh, technically, it's not illegal in the way that like magic is considered something which must be controlled. But like arcane magic is the sorcerer kings. But then it's just easily mistaken for arcane magic. You know, mm. do you honestly think that, I don't know, Kalak or um, Hamanu, the line of the world, is sitting there being like, well, yeah, we'll definitely give you a freebie on it being sympathetic nature magic. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, the point is to say Gargi and Bentusi can get away with being in the city so long as they are subtle. Like, technically, it's not illegal in the same way, but it's just easily mistaken for being illegal. When when is the other lead? Uh, tomorrow night. Not tonight, right. but tomorrow night. So you could, you could get one day. You could get one day's rest, basically the equivalent of twenty four hours rest. If you yeah, but it means I wouldn't want to use my spells tomorrow to heal people because then I wouldn't have them. No. Probably. Probably. So I mean, who's the most injured? Because Jaitamar has to sort himself out because he's a. I mean, right. I'm down at 8 HP, and if I'm going to be a front line... Um, what does, what does um, actual, like, assisted bed rest, like, 
what does what does uh, like a healing non-weapon proficiency actually do? Does it? Tom, you're down. You're down 17 HP, as in you're at eight out of yes, 25. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. What does? Sorry, Alex. What does like healing and herbalism actually do? Like, how much more does that heal? Is it? Is it like? Would it? Does it double your? It does. Your, it does have an effect. Or is so... it just? Uh, yeah, good. Um, I think it's only come up in a game once before for me. That's in the kind of that. So healing is um, if the character tends another within one round of wounding, they restore one d three, and they can do that once per day. Um, and they can, uh, yeah, recover lost hit points at the rate of one per day, even when traveling or engaging in non strenuous activity. Um, if the wounded character gets complete rest, they recover. Uh, uh, so it's that they, it's a bonus. It's essentially a bonus of you get plus one per day traveling for healing, plus two per day um, on, with complete rest. And if you have both healing and herbalism, it's plus three per day. So that would mean you could get six per day on complete rest. Uh, it might actually be worth just finding a, a doctor then. Uh, a herbalist. Or, yeah, or, yeah. I mean, one day, one day of rest with like a, an actual trained herbalist mm -hmm. healer, um, and then maybe um, a little bit of magical healing for those most wounded. That would get us most of the way back up, I think. Yep. Sure. Decide amongst yourselves. I'll take a second. Yeah. I mean. That'd be at least, you know, it, it, like, um, we got, no, uh, it's, uh, trying to pass all of this. So Nasir and Asha would both be fully healed with just a day's bed rest with a herbalist. Yeah. Uh, how, how injured are the rest of you? I heard 17. Uh, I'm at, I have eight hit points. I see your... Are you? Were you one down seventeen? I yes, down seventeen. Uh, Quintus is fine. And what about you, Jay? Uh, I'm full full health. Oh, so yeah, I guess um, you'd be down eleven. So that'd be like one or two cure light wounds. Is it called cure light wounds in, in this edition? There is cure light wounds. Yeah. Yes. I've, I've I've got Pathfinder on the brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people say that about you. <laughs> you can just like <laughs> say it heals the D eight. Uh, but yeah, look, it, it, it looks like a, a day's bed rest. So if we find a find a healer, that probably won't cost us too much. And then ask a ask a, a templar to to heal for two cure light wounds worth. Probably probably cost us a bit more, but worth saving for time. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh -huh. Or if Quintus wants to you spend any of his spell slots on that day, but I assume saving them would probably end up being better. And we don't have spell slots remaining at the moment. I assume not. He did. That it's not like highest, but, you know, not able. I guess, <laughs> actually, does, doesn't doesn't Orison have an effect where it can heal one hit point? Orison does one hit point of healing. I mean, that's, that's what you spend it on. That's not nothing, you know. If, if it would otherwise go to waste, then that's another one. Yeah. I was going to say yeah. So technically, uh, bees you can use your horizon in that way, as they as they say. You'd be alright doing that. So I guess we should um, find find a healer first, and then I imagine um, Quintus is able to send a a runner to someone else he knows who'd be willing to um, yeah heal us for money. <laughs> How yeah? How much is it going to be to heal us? Like two cure light wounds worth. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, you uh, that you, you can do that. So let me just check. Um, cast spells, use devices. Cure light wounds. Um, about a hundred. Hundred ceramic. Spells. Yeah. It might be better than to just rest for two days and use the spell slots in the middle day. Hmm. I guess the downside is that that um, that one nighttime thing that I think we're all wanting to to help uh, Asher out with. Asher's. Uh... What are we actually doing with that? I know Asher's mentioned it, but uh, do we come to a conclusion? <laughs> Oh, I just kind of uh, want to do my civic yeah, duty and report it to the local Templars. Local Templar. Yeah, Nasir was the one trying to convince him not to, I think, had been the game state of this. It, yeah, it could be so profitable. <laughs> it could be even more profitable to not. What is it? Um, what is it you're trying to tell the Templar? Sorry. Um, basically, I've found out about a, a magical sort of some sort of magical weapon smuggling ring, basically going on. All oh, right, okay. And I'm trying to do my civic duty and get the Templar on side. Got you. Got you. Um, Maybe you don't have the local law enforcement owe me a favor. Well. I guess Nasir and Asher can fight that one out. Kent has no opinion on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they, uh, if uh, Asher wants to share this with with anyone else um, in character. Well, I've already, if I reported it to Quint, I've already reported it to Quintus like a good boy. And if you've reported to Quintus, yeah, then in that case, yeah, Quintus, you've been told that there is. Yeah, magical arm smuggling going on. I guess within Balak, would such a smuggling ring be seen as like a a big, a, like a big crime? It would be something that would be like I, it I would look very usually, good for yes, me to I think bust that up. <laughs> Uh, in the film, it's important to say that Quintus will be played by Kevin Spacey in L.A. Confidential. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. It, it's, yeah. Um, it's, magical arms smuggling is almost certainly a national security concern. Yeah. I just don't trust, uh, I just don't trust Asher very much at all, but uh, I think it's oh, worth looking into. <laughs> Because I, because I witnessed, I'm pretty sure I witnessed you trying to steal from someone for almost no reason, like last session or something. <laughs> okay, so how much? Correctly. So if you guys want to do that during the night, Kent can rest. What do we establish that Kent gets just from resting? It would end up being uh, well if you if you rest to, if you rest tonight and tomorrow, and then a free in the evening, you'll have, you'll have saved three. So, not you know take that for its worth we should find the um we should find an actual herbalist first to make that six instead of three yeah. i mean that would be much cheaper yeah that than... doesn't cost a hundred yeah Sorry. yeah so, uh, get it buying cure light wounds yeah yeah and then maybe if you could burn one spell slot to bring me back up to you know near full although mm. knowing our luck that'll end up being like two or something instead of that yeah also, uh, I don't know if you were there at the time, uh, Beej, but there was a question as to whether you'd use your Orazon to give me the one HP. Uh, I was not there. Uh, yeah, I guess I did not know. Yeah, Orazon's great. That. Forgot about that as a thing. Oh, actually, the other thing you might want to use Orazon for, though, actually, is you can do like a mini detect magic with it, which might be worth doing on the sword. Maybe less immediate concern, but something to bear in mind. Uh, where is well, that? Say, to put it, I mean, I would say if that's the concern, you you just ask. Uh, it's on Quintus. You said I would say if that's the concern. Remember, you literally do have a uh, a wizard with that. If you 
at the moment, so... I mean, not, where is, not where is Orison uh, 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 described? So it's it, it's like, one of the later whole... books, but Owen's written it in his house rules. It's in the house rules. Oh, okay. Which, which book is that actually from? Is it, is it, it is from... It's, is it it's from Player options? options, Spells and Powers. Um, spells and Powers, which I don't approve of the uh, Player's Options uh, range, you understand, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it shouldn't have options. I mean, Orison is very cool. Yeah, uh, I think it's Orison mm -hmm. is a lot more. It's meant to be a parallel to Cantrip. It's just yeah. that both of them, obviously, as first level spells aren't very good, but as zero level spells one a day, I think are actually pretty reasonable. Yeah, I mean, isn't it like you get like a six of them or something for one spell slot? Oh. Three, I think. But yeah, I think I, th I think it like it scales of level or something. I think. <clears throat> I reach out and touch your forehead and say, "I, I, I bless you," and I give you one HP. Hooray! Okay, so Kent is now at nine HP. So if we yeah. can find a herbalist, how much is a herbalist going to cost? Kent can rest up the rest of the day if we don't mind going into the mine tomorrow <laughs> evening instead. Uh, let's have, let's have a look. Mm. Mm, say 15 for, for the medicines and stuff. Right. Okay. I'll, I'll for, do that. Definitely is that for that. all of us or? Uh, who, who else needs healing? Uh, for anyone who wants, anyone who, anyone who wants to, uh, is, this wouldn't stop you if you wanted to go to the raid, it wouldn't stop you because you can rest tonight and tomorrow and through the day tomorrow. Asher, um, Asher and twenty four hours. Nasir are the yeah. only two other are the only two also injured and we only need a, a day's healing if we're getting six. So, yeah. so how it will the the herbalist so, yeah, charge it, that, us that, per person? Fine. Or will he charge us like two engages? No, no, that that'd be for no no that that I that'd be to hire them for a day. Okay. So fifteen okay. So, okay, so yeah. Okay. Right. I've spent the money on that. That means that I'll bump Kent's health by Six, I guess, and then everyone else can do the same thing. Yeah. Um, or are we going to wait until after we've done this? No, because uh, we'll we'll, we'll we'll heal the the first day, and then it'll be the the evening. The the next the evening the next day. So we're so like yeah. on the raid. Asher, okay, Asher, Asher and Nasir right. will get our full days healing yeah, and be fine. back up. The and then does anyone want to burn a kill like wound slot to bring me closest to max? I mean, don't uh, are we saying that? Are we saying that we are? We we have gone to the next day now. You slept. That's what that I. That you slept, and that yeah, you, you're pre you're presuming that anyone who wants to be in the raid will be in the raid tonight. I I also think, whilst we're uh, bed resting and getting healed and stuff, that probably gives um, uh, Quintus the opportunity to go higher the rest of our guys because I imagine. Give them one thing a few. I was going to say, I mean, Qu Quint Quintus, Quintus, uh, Quintus, and Adriad are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quintus and Adriad could go and do that, couldn't they? Okay, who are we having? Uh, How much? Quintus, do this. Quintus, do that. Quintus, <laughs> please heal, heal me. <laughs> Shouldn't be so useful, Quintus. That's your problem. <laughs> I'll strive to yeah. be more useless. Mm. Well, you you did have two clerics, and both people, yeah, people have both swapped out their uh, their, their clerics, haven't they? So. Ben it's almost like this, this city um, is a, a, a hive of scum and villainy. Yeah, scum and villainy. Yeah, they call it the uh, Babylon of Dark Sun, <laughs> the Athasian Babylon. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, I just uh, I was yeah I, I was uploading a rough map for I will because it'd be good to like put these together as a be able to you know. Um, put these on my blog or something sometime or in some format but i will have to why is that doing that or the glory uh, of andrew yeah Andrew. I, I, I need to i need to make I need... yeah i heal you <laughs> yeah i I'm I'm for three all right did i did i emphasize did i emphasize the right syllable there because did the people who wrote this know yeah, what they were so doing right. when they named him andrew penis seems a little please, please you have to assume that. so yeah yeah yeah, I think it's the only like buying men. 
Yeah. Cool. Uh, so in that case, um, I guess it's uh, okay. You're going to need two checks to get to the market precinct if you're hiring people. So I guess Quintus, do you want to roll one and then Jay another? Because you are the two apparently going. Mm -hmm. Gola can go too. I don't actually know what Gola has in terms of HP, but Simon has not arrived, so we can kill his character. It's fine. Hooray. Uh, let me check. Ooh, I'll check what the encounter die is, actually. I said that because it might Who wants to go first? Roll it. Uh, so, 1d6. Yeah, 1d6. It's going to be you first, Quintus. Beach. All right. A six. Six yeah. Great. And Jay, do you want to roll to get into the market precinct? Thanks. Yeah, That's okay. Good. Yeah, you, you, you make it to the market precinct. Um, and I guess you uh, hunt out a mercenary company to hire. What are you hiring? Who, how many people are you hiring? It is up to you. No one else is present, so you two decide. <laughs> um... We have how many guys uh, still surviving from the last time? You've got one shield. You've got one shield bearer who is, I guess, at your quarters with you. Wait. Arguably, all we need is like a row of shield bearers and a row of archers. I think Alex wanted to see him as well, also. Yeah. Um... So, two or three abreast of those tunnels, maybe? I can't remember how wide they said they were. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, is how many do we need? The tunnels were two abreast. Okay. Obviously, there is more space, up to like four or five, I think. The big room, obviously, would be a lot more. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can hire them per day. I think it's per month. Um, no, it's monthly for uh, expert hirelings. It is monthly for things like bearers, carpenters, link boys, that teamsters. That's or valets slash lackeys. Uh, that is a category. If anyone's interesting, <laughs> interesting it. Uh, that is uh, you can hire it daily or monthly. That's a, that's a yeah. That's a really interesting split of duties. A valet slash lackey, like. <laughs> This occupation subsumes the various forms of body servant and messenger. Mm. I don't know what a body servant is, but let's move on. Mm. Well, it's just any kind of labor. A, a valet. Mm. A, a, no, a, a body servant is like a gentleman's gentleman. It's Jeeves. That's what a valet is. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. They will dress you. A valet, on the other hand. A, a valet cleans your car. A valet <laughs> cleans your car. A valet cleans your clothes. Mm -hmm. And you definitely hire your valet by the day. <laughs> sometimes, by, sometimes, uh, yeah, <laughs> by the hour. <laughs> uh, we, we, we're back to buying men, are we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's Man, it's going to be great. I'm going to really enjoy having a defiler to kill you with. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so we just need two. You want to just do two shield bearers so they can block up a passageway, and then two spearmen. Uh, yeah, I guess that will cover it, won't it? But it does it make sense to get archers? Case. I'm less convinced by the archers, but yeah, I mean, if it feels like with two people in front of them, damage. can they really yeah. shoot much? Like. I'd rather have replacements for the shield bearers and spearmen than archers. That's fair, actually. We did see a lot of things in there. Like, a lot. The archers might be a big good fallback if we end up being pushed into one of the larger chambers, so. though. It might be good just to have them in reserve in case we need them. <clears throat> Ultimately, whoever's got the curse can decide, though. 
Yeah, I mean, if we can spring for it, then... I was going to say. So, Adriad, who you are uh, using your patrician wiles, what do, what, what do patrician wizards get as a... Do they get to impress people? I feel like they oh. get a reaction bonus in some cases. Uh, I get a reaction bonus from nobles of... Uh, oh. a, a plus three reaction Same bonus from nobles of, of my culture, plus two from nobles of other yeah. culture. Um, yeah, so not, not directly <laughs> applicable here, then. And I have to... <laughs> Whenever I'm purchasing something, I have to pay 10 to 100% more than the listed price or lose that reaction bonus. But I guess if there's nobody here to impress, then I don't need to worry about that. <laughs> yeah. No, in, in, the, in this case, this one, yeah, the, uh, mercenary companies don't actually generally want to be known for like bleeding people to 100%. I guess if you're, you could always throw a tip in, that would probably match your requirement, but they're not going to be charging you 100%. Because mm -hmm. that would be very bad for them. Imagine you got known as people who just randomly just charge double the price for no reason. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not actually good for business. Um, so, Adriad, who are you? Who are you buying the services of? So, what are we saying? Two, uh, two shieldmen, two spearmen. Uh, and two archers. We are going for the archers. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then I guess we need to load, we need to make a stop at the oil store and buy a bunch of, a oh, bunch yeah. of yeah. Uh, lamp oil or something. Maybe a porter? Unless you're volunteering to carry the lamp oil. Yeah. That's uh, yeah, that that's cheap. That We can just get a, uh, someone to carry our shit. A bull Might as well. Because I think, yeah, I think we're probably going to want, we're probably going to want enough that we could, like, saturate a tunnel in front of us. But we probably also want to have extra for just, like, throwing into a mass if we get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Like, if, like, if we, if we run into a bad situation where there's a bunch of them, we're probably going to want to toss They're all, some they're oil. all pretty cheap. I would err on yeah. the side of more of them. Yeah. Okay. Let's get let's get ten flasks. Uh, so your monthly cost for the yeah um, yeah I was gonna say it'd be, will it be twelve ceramic for the mercenaries possibly if you're getting six of them and they're two each in this case so that so, feels like so nowhere we, near enough. So what are we getting in total? Just six mercenaries. Yeah, yeah like, plus the one you already have. We've okay. seen... And do we have three shield bearers. Does that mean we need to have three shield bearers, two spearmen. Um, so, sergeants are uh, required on... What's it say? Um, first level fighters, up to ten soldiers, or short from a lieutenant or captain. Uh, there must be one sergeant minimum for every... I guess as there are six, uh, there can be one per five. At this point, probably, uh, yeah, you'll need to get one, which would, I guess, he'd be worth 20. He can command another f yeah. uh, three, though. My, in my so, feelings, we might as well get that extra three. Yeah. If, oh, we're, yeah. if we're... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If, we get, if we have to pay for a second, yeah. we may as well just make him work for his money. Yeah. So shall we get He's those archers, or should we just get some more sturdy lads to throw in there? <laughs> Yes. We're gonna are we gonna buy some sturdy lads? Yeah. How much yes. are three sturdy you, lads, Owen? Can you point us to the sturdy lad store, please? <laughs> <laughs> you, we, we, you, you've gone from the oil shop okay. to the sturdy lad store. <laughs> They're right next. It's right next door. <laughs> three sturdy lads is what like six. It's fine. Like he's an Adrian said, mobile. He probably does this stuff all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, oh no, this is the Roman. Get a reaction check on this. Oh, these are the sturdiest lads you've got. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lad seller. Right. I'm going into so we have... I want your I highly recommend. <laughs> I highly recommend the television series Plebs, for those who have not watched it. British comedy show Plebs. So oh, hang yeah, on. From the hang on. I'm confused. Excellent. So that puts us at seven, so we need to get another three people. Should we get just. Should we get. Uh, 
another shield, shield one more bearer and one two more, more shield footmen. bearer yeah yeah exactly one more one shield two spearmen yeah okay so that in total will be it should be four four and two oh, right four amazing owen did it four all four shields so 10 18 28 in total i already took off 12 so. 16, I need to take off. Five. So it's 28, 34, 38, 38 to total. 38 total, okay. Well, let me drop a sergeant is going to be worth 20 because he's worth uh, 10 yes, times the troops yeah, that he's commanding. So, okay, which is 20, two, 20, so it's 20. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, I've deducted it. We've got our, we've got our, our, um, hefty fellas. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. You hire a, uh, a pro, yeah, a a dwarven um, sergeant and a uh, motley crew of, uh, yeah, of ca wagon guards and uh, so on, like for, that he uh, is associated with. Uh, he's called uh, Grom. Uh, he has like a very much like they're not very tunnel visionized in every sense. Like he just stares dead ahead at all day. Because if tonight you're going on the raid, are they coming with you on the raid, or are they you you keeping them? No. I would start their employment from tomorrow, like the day we're going yeah. back to the mine. I'll it have them report be. to us tomorrow morning, because we'll definitely survive tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering. I guess you probably do want Kent to come as well. I was going to suggest maybe you yeah. could stay behind and get a herbalist. Just... Oh no, because you have to wrestle tomorrow anyway. Never mind, he's coming. He'd have to do the whole next day anyway. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's up to you. I don't mind. No. Nah. Um, oh. Uh, Adriad, I was going to say th this came up earlier. Remember, if if people want, if you want to detect magic on the sword, you can because you did have to detect magic, um, memorize the the, pre the previous day. Um, oh yeah, I can uh, do. I am. There had been a mention of that before, so I, I I thought I'd just track back to that. I am switching to one prep of it for tomorrow as well. <laughs> yes, that feels like a useful uh, thing to have after a, a raid on a yeah. magic weapon smuggler. That's what. That's why I picked it. Yeah. 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 Uh cool. Uh yeah, that will uh, it, the the sword uh, is magic with alteration, which is what you'd normally have for a weapon that has been changed to be stronger or do you think minor? Uh it's it means it's not like a sword that heals you or something, but it's yeah. It, anything that could be alteration based. Okay. Yeah, great. Um oh, can't we uh, the the bards have the thing to identify the general purpose and function of any magical item. Do we? Yeah. Is that bardic, oh, bardic knowledge. Uh, a, a, learn a little bit of everything. Yeah. yeah. Read and write native tongue. No local history, and yeah. have a five percent chance per experience level to identify the purpose and function of any magic item. Need not handle, think... but must examine it closely. Yeah, I just wrote bard acknowledge fifteen percent in my sheet, and then yep. never, yeah. never made a note of what that means. You both, you both have you have both have fifteen percent if you want to use that. Yeah, uh, I feel free to roll those. Uh, how much lamp oil were you buying? Uh, just wanted uh, success. I mean, I think I think my 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 plan was just enough to soak the floor and then in at least those two big rooms and then t mm. two more so if we assume that ha like how big an area does a flask cover you know say like um a flask is a flask about a pint possibly uh so eight would make a gallon You'd think maybe a couple of gallons for a couple of rooms, because it doesn't need to be thick. Obviously, it just needs to yeah. cover the floor. So. Yeah. I wonder. Does, does, does it? Does it? It feels like the kind of thing that would be specified, but I don't know. Um. Uh. Yeah. I mean, the the doesn't say much about lamp oil actually being useful for lighting things on fire, but the more expensive variety does. 2d6 damage the first round and 1d6 damage the second round so is that you can set you can set fire to lamp oil as a as a yeah great yeah um i i'd say you can i think that there is some stuff about uh lamp in terms of lamp oil can be set on fire obviously you have burning hands you do have the option to kind of make it very hot very quickly so yeah lamp oil is way less expensive than greek fire 
yeah, that's that's why I'm thinking like also a lot easier oil. to get. I was going to say, yeah, you're going to have to you're ha- going to have to go to the black market for um, you know, Quintus. It, Quintus doesn't need to know if Adriat does it, I guess. But yeah, <laughs> uh, I guess technically Quintus could maybe go and procure some. He could possibly go and, uh, but yeah, that'd have to be. Uh, he'd have to negotiate that probably if he's actually going to start getting stuff from military stores. Uh, okay, well, in that case, it's way cheaper. Was it like six copper? I don't know. What is that even? Is that six bits? Yeah. No, that'd be six point bits. Six. So that's, that's point, yeah, that be, six bits. Six wouldn't bits. Wouldn't that be point six bits? Yeah, point six ceramic. <laughs> no, put, uh, no, point, point six ceramic. As in, it's hundredth of ceramic. Is it a point... Uh, and a bit is a tenth of a ceramic, isn't it? Is it a tenth? In that case, it's point six for a bit, yeah. But it's point <laughs> six. It's point six of a ceramic is the point. So, um, yeah. Uh, well, point oh six. Well, I tell them. I tell them you the high, store, if I'm going to buy six flasks of lamp oil, will you throw in a sack for free to put it in? And then we will. I mean, yeah. If you're if you're buying a bunch of lamp oil, they'll probably they'll give you a sack. Yeah. Uh, Throw in a yeah. sack, and then I will go find some some person that we can pay some bits to, and tell them to uh, report to the same place the mercenaries are reporting to tomorrow mm-hmm. to be our our carrier. I mean, the if you're carrier hiring... of the oil. Yep. Um... If you're hiring a person for that, why not just give them like as much oil as they can carry? Mm. Like, I show up with a. I mean, a flask is only a pound. A keg of. A keg of oil. Yeah. Carry this on your back. So, well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so a, a bearer is a daily cost of uh, one bit, point one ceramic. Just <laughs> nothing. Uh, but yeah, I, how many? How much oil are you buying? Make sure you record it properly and you take the money off. I think like let's, at least 20 flasks. Oh, let's do 20. Let's do 20. That'd be... That'd be 1.2. So, I mean, yeah, 1.2 plus whichever bearers you're going to ask to do it for you tomorrow. Uh, 1.2 ceramic. Like yeah. Amazing. What other what other random bits of equipment might help us? Quick, let's buy something else. I mean, Nessie, I, I, I'd already bought some uh, caltrops for my own purpose for if I needed to run away. So, I don't know if anyone else thinks they're worth getting. I don't know if they'll be that effective against ant-like creatures no no um <laughs> i mean ironically the true, best but... thing to be using against ant-like creatures would be like some sort of oil or grease trap i would imagine no i think it would be something that dissolves <laughs> chitin like a highly fluorinated acid are we going back to the the quick climb <laughs> i don't think that'll do it we need some uh yeah i, th- I think we need some uh very modern. Beach and Alex were recently chemistry. passed a plan involving killing a I blood like... ooze with quicklime. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the, the horse type of hydrofluoric acid plan will probably run into a few hitches. Well, uh... we'll have the bearer carry it. Oh, yeah, it I mean, they... too much anything. It's terrifying. It sort of boils and fizzes and just yeah. gets very, very angry and takes everything off the glassware. There's a lot of very interesting videos on YouTube of people like dropping a hot dog in a beaker and it just like frothing up yeah. black and then goes clear and there's nothing left wow yeah, yeah, they, they, they had a lot of that stuff like in antiquity um <laughs> just it wouldn't be very pure or very good but like yeah the the you know you know they had like aqua regia and stuff for a long time yeah, i didn't know about it but it would be a thing i don't think they would necessarily call it piranha i can <laughs> No, but the problem is that I, I doubt it would um, <laughs> no, it be easy to procure. Yeah, they probably wouldn't have it in large amounts, and oh, yeah. it would be hard to actually deploy. And those are the problems with stuff like that. <laughs> Much easier to just but... hire a hundred a uh, hundred porters and just like push them into the tunnels in front of us. Be like, yeah. Move in. <laughs> yeah, Asher. In terms of you looking at the. Uh... Uh, the sword. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, it, it, uh, it. You actually, you, you think you, you may, um, you, you may recognise it from it, decorations on the kind of scrolled hilt um, as a uh, a, a uh, weapon um, associated with the um, the 
uh, Templars of um, a a disappeared city called um, what's it called of Yaramuk in the north, uh, which was apparently destroyed in a war between the Sorcerer Kings. Uh, but yeah, it has decorations that suggest it's uh, it was a fine weapon associated with that city. Um, you know, at the the legend lore bardic knowledge check doesn't give you exact properties, yep. but you know it's it's a, just a a fine fighting weapon that has obviously lasted through presumably a thousand years or so. Um, Adriad will be able to say it's magic as well, yep. as I say. So, mm -hmm. I think we can assume a plus one weapon or a plus two weapon then fairly safely. I'm happy to relay this information to Quint, just to say, look how useful I am, smile. <laughs> Eventually, uh, you'll have you finished shopping? Um, I have some brownie points saved up by then. I don't think there's anything else that's come to mind. Oh, did anybody else want to get ranged weapons? Because I remember there was someone last time who didn't have... Was it someone who was missing a ranged weapon, or someone who wanted, like, a spear or something? Uh, it was uh, me. Um... Yeah, I should probably have. Oh, there I are there are free. There were our... two fruit spears. There you go. Yeah, I picked I picked oh, up a short bow people. from a dead. There were two dead already, archers with so... short bows. There are two short bows yeah. and two spears. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, good. people who want a spear or short bow can go on. I think we need to wait until I get paid for that. What do you? Oh, do you want more knives? I think we can afford to get you at least another knife. Yeah, but. If I wanted, to, if I wanted to, like, to get another belt and a full set, that would cost like 120 total. Like, I don't think we can afford that now. Well, you don't need the belt. Just get one knife and stick it in your boot. But then I won't be symmetrical. You've already, you've, you've got five knives at <laughs> the moment, don't you? You're um, already three, not symmetrical. Um, three, unless we were able to recover those two that were lodged in the scorpion things we fought ages ago. Mm. Uh, well, you've got. Three is still not symmetrical. <laughs> yeah, which is why I need to get seven. Yeah, more. it can be symmetrical. We're not get. We're not talking about this. This is a stupid conversation. <laughs> um, <laughs> this, is, this is the conversation that yeah, you, you, Nasir and Asher are having in the sick bay. <laughs> and Ashraf is is in, yeah, it's in character. Uh, no, you'll have got those two back from the Mysterials because you won that battle. So, okay. Yeah, you held the field on that battle. So good news. So you would have got them back. Five new knives now. Five new knives too. <laughs> um, I need to recalculate how much money that costs. Uh, Sixty. Whilst you're doing that, um, Quintus, bees, do you want to roll an encounter check on the way back to the Harbour Precinct for you and Adriad? Because then we can get on with tonight. Um, and well, third six, another, another six. Uh, and Jay. Um, Gilda's precinct. Come on. <sighs> uh, yeah, roll a d10. Two. And uh, roll a d4, please. Yeah, so as it um uh as it uh, uh kind of cut come it's it's in the evening now, um having spent the, the day travelling around the city I guess. Uh it's not it won't be dark yet because you've, you would have started in the morning. But as you head back into the uh Gilders precinct, just at the edge of the harbour precinct, um you uh are are approached by a half elf. Half elves are sort of um not like in in Onathus, they are very much between worlds. They can be kind of good bridges, but there's a weird thing where they're like bridges between cultures. But they're not really accepted by elves. They're not really trusted by humans. Um, so yeah, you're at. Uh, but here uh, he uh, approaches Adriad, and will say to Adriad, uh, uh, he'll say, um, "Oh, ma master, I, I, I've," I, he, and looks looks your robes and says. Um, Oh, me member of our, our patrician class. Uh, um, I, uh, I do, do. Do you have space in your household for uh, a uh, an entertainer such as myself? And um, he uh, kind of pick, goes to his back and starts to uh, uh, bring up a lute to play. Uh, uh, 
and then some say that I could get that L, that L, that L, that L, that L, that L, five copper, five to run on being an assassin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fool, fools uh, you guys are in this you're in your sick beds the, ash yeah. just says i bet he will meet a half elf and assassin and ah, right. yes. <laughs> yeah just <laughs> apropos of nothing else but yeah adriad yeah so he says he's like oh well, you know well, would you have space in your household for a uh, and he, he begins to play his loot here, you know he prepares to play his loot anyway uh yeah i just sort of fold my arms and um not particularly impressed or interested but i patiently wait for him to pull his loot out and play yeah, he he begins to uh, mm. to play. Uh, Quintus, you're here as well, obviously. Um, yes, and I uh, wait yeah. until he actually uh, strums yeah. a chord or two, and then yeah. I step forward and say, "I do hope you have a permit for busting." <laughs> 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 yeah, he begins to play. Yeah, he begins to play. It's very, very, uh, very sweet sound. Quintus then interrupts and he looks up and. Uh, um, he uh, he said uh, he says oh uh, uh, yes uh, yeah yeah yes uh, honoured uh, Priter and uh, kind of bows and uh, then begins to kind of look in his pack and he's kind of fumbling for his, it looks like he's got a a scroll with the uh, mark of the jongleurs guild on um, um, a, 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 as this happens a, uh, a, a staggering out of a um, uh, an alley there a, a half giant kind of just uncurls you see like what you assumed was just like bags of rubbish or something or like piles of rubbish in the in the dark alley uncurl it's a it's a half giant he comes forward slurring and he says uh he, he starts saying what's that racket oh disgusting modern music and um <laughs> kind of crash it crashes uh, into the three of you um and uh yeah uh he um he uh uh could you probably the the best way is could you could you each make a ones save a save against ones this is like the classic dodge save is you're just trying to get out of the way of this guy who's just uh windmilling forward in he's not really attacking he's just kind of so viscerally disgusted by the music apparently that music isn't as good as it used to be you know <laughs> yeah back in his so day. that's a d20 check yeah which is nine oh up. no yeah. yeah he j he just uh, uh, uh like uh, yeah, just um, kind of swinging with his arms, just kind of clocks you both, and uh, it's not super hard. Um, yeah, not 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 like yeah, he's not being incredibly um, violent, as it were. Like as you say, it's, as I say, it's more of a kind of he just uh, seems to be trying to stop whatever's going on or interrupt whatever's going on. <laughs> Adriad, as that happens, uh, you feel the your your coin bag which i guess we still has like um a hundred you know it might have in well 10 silver 100 ceramic or something in it uh you feel a tug on your coin belt <laughs> i mean <laughs> i can tell you what it actually has in it according to my inventory <laughs> i'm just i'm assuming that you've got probably been given the money by the group because you've had to pay for something oh yeah time, of course so. yeah yeah that's what i'm saying this isn't your money this is group money not your plus whatever your money is which is really like three ceramic or something <laughs> Tell the thief with extreme prejudice. I'll, um... Got my money in it. Okay, cool. Well, I guess I would, uh, grab out at the, um, at whatever's reaching for the... Uh... It has 49 ceramic plus whatever yours is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, you, uh, you turn and you see the half-elf, um, has fallen forward, knocked by the half-giant, uh, and has fallen, le has fallen next to your coin, your belt, and has just reached out and is trying to grab it. Uh, he... <laughs> Yeah, what do you want to do? You you get an, you get a reaction here, I guess. Um, da, da, da. Uh, yeah, I just I guess I would just try and grab his um, grab his wrist and yank him towards me. You know, yep. like uh, restraining okay. him essentially. Yeah, roll, roll, roll. Yeah, roll an attack roll, then a d twenty. Um, I guess it's sort of an unarmed attack, so. Uh, yeah, he he rolls back out of the way and uh, starts. Uh, he he stands up and uh, uh, yeah, gra trying to look at his bag. Says, "Ah, oh, honoured masters, uh, I'm sorry for this this foul interruption by this drunkard. I I, I will leave you be for tonight. Uh, please please take my apologies uh, for having brought his wrath upon us." And so he, he didn't uh, he... begins to back away. So he didn't get the yeah. Purse. You didn't manage to grab him now. No, he didn't get the purse. 
Um, he's you didn't grab his arm either, Asin. You're okay. just a bit too slow. Like he, he, he's acting as if he, he you know, he, you haven't seen him grab his purse or whatever. Okay, he's right, just right. Like, oh well. And he's like running away, grabbing his um, his loot and uh, beginning to back off. Um, are basically do I, are either of you uh, wanting to do anything? Um, in which case, we should declare actions for initiative because theoretically, these other two people involved may have things they want to do. Did I see? Did I see the the exchange with like the person, and everything, or do it? Do I just know that? I think you would have into... you, you would have you you would have seen Adriad probably reach out for him. And he has rolled away. Okay. So uh, what do you two want to do? What, it, what is the half giant doing? Like, what's his what's his like stance? Is he the ha- backing away? The half giant away? kind of tumbled out. He's he's he had tumbled over and he like you know, drunkenly staggered around and he is just turning back up to you. Like he's just turning back around. Do I is there is there a way could I like make a snap judgment with any sort of information as to whether I think the drunkenness is a, a fake? Is he really drunk or is he just acting drunk? Um I yeah, he might be. He doesn't smell of alcohol. He is acting drunk, like as he seems drunk, but he doesn't stink of alcohol, so make your judgment. Alright. I want to know what uh, Adriad does, and then I will make my um, determination. <laughs> <laughs> it's Adriad's fault. <laughs> I think <laughs> I would probably take the attitude of live and let live, and uh, be uh, fuming, but probably uh, dust myself down and. Uh, um watch the uh you know re- uh watch the uh half elf walk away and um uh you know make a mental note of uh his appearance and stuff but um otherwise probably uh, <laughs> uh think um i managed to get away from that one uh uh or, or, or you know caught him just in the nick of time and uh probably um that's yeah. about as uh yeah as good as you yeah. can hope for in these Quintus. What about you? Awful parts of town. Yeah, these these dark sun times. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I was going to say you're you're much more used to uh, being uh, up on that hill in the villa precinct. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, Quintus. What I, I do you... is going to depend very much on the answer to this question. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what is the effect of the extra spells you get for wisdom? Does that mean you get to memorize? You get to prepare those extra yep. spells? Yeah. So like if I have you prepare extra spells, yeah. <clears throat> so with wisdom sixteen, it seems to suggest that I get two extra first level spells and two extra second level spells. Does that does that sound right? Uh, yes, that is correct. So at level four, that means I'd have five first level spells and four second. Mm-hmm. Seems like a lot. Yep, wisdom is good. Uh, I'll just check the Templars benefit from that, just in case they don't. But I assume they do. They just get it. It's just they get the spells later. Oh yeah, I mean that that'd be based on the base cleric, but so I suppose the Templar could be slightly <laughs> different. Um, if that's true, no, it doesn't, then it doesn't I'm, say he doesn't. He doesn't say he doesn't. Then I'm absolutely not letting. Yeah. I think the half elf is. I, I determined the half elf is a a ringleader, some sort of. Uh, some sort of uh, uh, mastermind of street crime, and he's not going anywhere. I am going to <laughs> cast. I'm going to cast charm person or mammal on him and tell him to stop. Okay, um, charm person or mammal has a long range, so initiative may not be relevant here because it's range of hundred. Eighty yards. Yeah. I get a two. Eighty. Yeah, uh, eighty. Okay, so I guess uh, Quintus, you roll the initiative. Roll the d10. 80, yeah. Because you can also... I guess you can... Move half Three. Um, yeah, so he will... I guess he begins moving. He gets, like, let's call it 10% of his movement in. You shout out to him to stop yeah. in the name of the Lord. Casting time is uh, 5, so he probably gets decently far away. Yeah, he uh, there. he'll get to 8, so 6. 
he can move 60% of his move, let's say. He has six segments in which to move. Um, so he will not be more than 80 away. Because if you think he'd be moving like 12 at most, 120. Yeah, he'll fail that save and we'll stop. <clears throat> yeah, I'll say come back and talk to us. And I, I'll, I'll be eyeballing the giant to make sure he's not going to pull some anything. Mm. The half giant has got himself up um, and is kind of looking blearily at what's happening. Yeah, the, the half elf will come back. What, what are you going to say to him? <clears throat> Um, I'm going to ask him if um, if he knows the half giant. I'm going to gesture to him. Say, do you know this this man here? <laughs> uh, he says, he says, yes. It's uh, it, it, he's a friend of mine. Yes, old friends. Uh, everything went almost according to plan just now, didn't it? Uh, he does not have to self. He does not have to cause himself danger under the spell. So he does not answer. He <laughs> he has the right to remain silent under the spell. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. So he just looks at you as it, and kind of he neither nods nor shakes his head. He just kind of looks. He shrugs, <laughs> like he shrugs in a way that could be conceived as confused. How how um <laughs> how successful has this gambit been for you, uh, so far today? Um, he, uh, he'll look, he'll look curiously at you and, uh, and, uh, you know, kind of not, he says, uh, how, how, how do you mean? This, uh, sorry, your, your, um, your little performance operation here, is it, has it been lucrative for you? How much money do you have? Uh, he says, um, I have, he said, he will say, he'll answer, I've stored a couple of hundred, uh, ceramics so far today and, uh, and some, some, some jewels and gems. What do you have on you right now? Uh, he will take out a bag uh, that has, he'll say, about 20 ceramic, two bits. Like it, uh, sorry, it's like, like, yeah, 200 bits or something. He doesn't, he's like, I don't carry all my, uh, my earnings on me. Um, let's get a reaction check from this, a morale check from this giant. Uh, the uh, giant staggers forward uh, drunkenly and is going to swing at the two of you again. Um, so... We should uh, take that in. We should take that in initiative. Jay, do you want to roll a d10? I get a nine. He's very slow. Eight. So yeah, I guess uh, Adriad. What do you want? To, Adriad and, and Quintus. What do you want to do? Um. So he's um. Uh. He's just. A, a just. He's just. Out, he's not really trying. Yeah, he's again. He's he's doing much the same he did before. Like he's just barreling into you. He's not like he's uh, bull rushing you. He's not necessarily trying to hurt you. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I think I would. Um, I would label this as assault of a of a praetor of the city. But uh, I suppose that. Well, I suppose it's not up for debate. I, I get to define it. Just put the dagger on the mafia gun. <laughs> Actions. Um, great question. Well, I'm not there, so I'm going to continue to lie in bed doing nothing. Uh, <laughs> picked a great day for bed rest. Oh, um, did you... Did, did you actually take did you take the obsidian sword in order to uh i'm assuming i somebody... gave it back to you after examining it one yeah so you determined that it is magic of so some quintus type? will have it yeah give it give a little his give you a little uh actually i've determined it's magic yeah okay yeah so you actually you the magical... that's suspicious how did he know it was magic <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, did you, you didn't, but you didn't determine exactly what it does, just that it has some properties. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe we'll figure it out. I will, I'm going to draw the obsidian short sword. Um, yeah. So what, what are you doing? I think I, Adria. Uh, I'm, um, sorely tempted to, uh, cast a spell on this half giant but um i'm uh 
reluctant to um, <laughs> to risk it in in the city. Um, so I think I'm um, yeah, fair. Just going to uh, kind of step out of the way as much as possible and, and observe what happens next. And uh... just do full full defense, yeah, because mm. that's that's an option. Is you can kind of you can do a full defense move. Mm -hmm. uh, what about you then? Um, yeah, that just Quintus. sounds good. I think I'm going to do the same thing: do full defense, but with my with the obsidian sword out. And the goal here would be to try to intimidate the giant. Just tell him, you know, I'm a I'm a praetor of the city. You, you walk away now, mm -hmm. or yeah. I will kill you. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. He, I guess he'll um, count it as. Yeah, he's big enough. I'll just do two overbear attacks on. Uh, so yeah, versus he's probably going to knock over Adriad um, because uh, it's going to be like yeah. Uh, I'll just check. I'll check the the rule on that. Uh, but yeah, he will. He, um, he will then. Uh, he kind of he he, ta he takes his action, uh, but then Quintus, you're saying that, and then the half elf will also say, "Just leave. Just go." Um, and he'll spend the rest of his movement probably uh, just leaving. Um, he, yeah, he's he's actually taking, he's larger, so he's plus four to his attack for an overbear. Um, so, yeah, he will definitely overbear and knock over Adriad. Adriad, you are prone, um, but uh, Quintus is not. He then uses what <clears throat> you know the remainder of his half movement to just start kind of running. Uh, you can take um, an opportunity attack if you want, Quintus, because he's turned his back to you. So per that rule, you can attack him if you want. Adriad doesn't uh, have a weapon out nah. and is on the floor. So. <laughs> I don't want to give him a reason to come back and fight. I don't have, I, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have time for this this garbage. I really hope he doesn't yeah. go with the match. Let's just let him please. I also don't want to use any more... Yeah spells so that we oh. have them for tonight so like yeah. i don't <laughs> i don't want to end up getting into a fight where we have to yeah, like, yeah. use all our resources so i'll let him go and then yeah you come back, back. The... you come back and like i have no spells left yeah, yeah like I, I used everything guys sorry on our trip to the market i just cast everything <laughs> um so I'll, yeah i'll let him go and then turn back to the half elf and and tell him to give me his coin purse Uh, he will give it to you. It has 20 CP in it. That counts as treasure, I guess, technically. So. And I'll tell him to go away, and I will be keeping my eye out for him. And if I see him doing <laughs> anything like this ever again, uh, it will be a summary execution. Yeah, tell him. You're right. He's under the charm, so he'll accept it, and he will leave, I guess. That's fine by him. Cool. You will then make it back to base. Uh, having defrayed... Like you'll have made over half your um, mercenary money back. Nice. Yeah, I was hoping he'd have more on him, but uh, you know, uh, I'll take it. He had stored. Consider he had stored most of it. I mean, hey. Yeah, consider it. It was it was an on spent the time spot. Going and getting the money off him. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was an on the spot fine for his yeah. crime. A good job letting him go. Yeah. Like, you know, catch him while he's fishing. The next time we get a random encounter, yeah. we still have to deal with him, won't we? <clears throat> uh cool so yeah you get back to the uh to your quarters where the herbalist is um curie uh, is uh pampering asher and nasir by pampering i mean she's an old woman and keeps shouting at them <laughs> she's like she says to nasir it's like i bet your i i bet your mother is ashamed of you you little shyster <laughs> it's like she's like force feeding you like crappy food like eat yeah. this <laughs> yeah in I fact, re put, read the chat. She's giving you peroxide-based uh, <laughs> earwax remover, but as a as an as a an oral um, oral medicine. <laughs> Drink this piranha potion. <laughs> What's a piranha? <laughs> <laughs> Never you mind. Uh, yeah, she says it's a, it's a, it's what they describe how the inside of your stomach feels after you've drunk it. Yeah. Lovely. Like you're being torn apart by thousands of legendary creatures who live in water. 
Ooh. Creatures that live in water. While vomiting. Asher while vomiting is then like, I've heard of them. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh, yep. So yeah, the the I guess yeah, you're all back together. You can uh, you can set out for the harbor district for your nighttime rendezvous if you want. I guess you might want to come up with a plan. You do t technically have one of your hirelings with you if you are, as in the rest are obviously there to meet you yeah. tomorrow. But um, you do have one guy if you want him, or he can stay here at your quarters. Has um, Jason my left for the day? Uh, Jaitama will be healing through the day, yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess he can be with you here. He could be with you here if you wanted. You could offer him the healing as a perk. Yeah, I, su I suppose it, if, it, if it doesn't cost us any more, there wouldn't no. be any reason not no. to. I guess then he'll be on 14 out of 33. I mean, he is probably reluctant to go with you, but well, he's happy, basically, he's happy to take a second line position. Like, he's like, it depends what you're doing. If you're like, Going into some active fire zone, he'll be the rear guard. But he'll, he's happy to give you a intellect fortress uh, whilst you're kind of approaching the place, which will give you psionic cover, I guess. I mean, they're just smugglers. How I think hard, he, he, he <laughs> he's naturally chary of going in at under half health to, like you know, when you're only offering shares. Uh, but he's happy to come. He's happy to come and help. His if you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, up to you. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind taking him, but if, if we take him, he might want like a share. So let's let's figure out the plan and then figure out if we actually want Jason. Because what 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 is actually going to happen? What do you know? Or what well, what what did you overhear? The smugglers will be making a drop at that at that at the location I have given. I'm assuming that yeah. I mean, we want to either we want to a intercept it and b conquer the smugglers on the head. Ideally, how how many people should we be expecting? Oh, I doubt there'll be that many. But how many is that many? Is that like three or four? Is that ten? You know. Yeah, that sounds about right. Which? <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> you worry too much. How, how, how competent are these people? Are they just like... Is this the man down the pub found some swords that fell off a wagon? Is this, you know, organised criminal enterprise? Is this... I'm assuming it'll be fairly organised. So they might be, like, actually competent? There might be people we need to worry about? I mean, yeah, but that's why we're bringing Templars. Just why? <laughs> we have the force of the law on our side. Nothing can go wrong. Uh, plenty can go wrong. You worry too much. I mean, I, I, I'm going to be... I'm, I'm, I'm not that worried, because I'll be right at the back, but... You know, exactly. I think. Why are there so few details? <laughs> Everyone else should be wor worrying more. Well, there are so few details because it's not like the organized criminals came up to me and handed me, like, an itinerary. This is something I picked up on while, you know, doing this to my mind. It's fine, don't even worry about it. The important thing is the very useful tip that I gave you. Hmm. Yes, the sort of tip one who was involved in the underworld would would stumble across. <laughs> one who wants to help you root out these criminal elements, and incidentally might know how to find some. <laughs> maybe, well, you know, maybe I'm trying to become a Templar, and this is my like, you know, me trying to sort of. Getting ahead on the interview process. You <laughs> will never be elected. <laughs> this this feels probably true. exceptionally hard to plan for something when we know uh, almost Tom. nothing. Yep. Uh, uh, what does Kent receive prime requisite, by the way? Does he receive prime requisite benefit? Uh, he does. 
Uh, oh, uh, he, he's a gladiator, which, what's the prime requisite for gladiator? Is it con? I assume it's, is it, is it, is it still strength? Um, it might be I think they have, they, they have two, don't I'm they? I'm just saying, because you are... I'll find it. Yeah, do they have two? Are they made, Yeah, that, I, uh, let's have a check. Gladiator. Strength uh, score 16, oh no, 10% just, bonus. Just, just, no, uh, yeah, no, I don't have yeah. I don't have that yeah. high strength. My strength is fourteen. Okay, no. In that case, you're still a hundred away from, um, yeah. That, though I guess actually you're, you're almost certainly I should say because you've got this magic item, and you've got the um, the other thing, uh, the small amount of gold you found or ceramic you found. Sorry, you may have you may just have enough to train, but you're 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 going to be either side because you're going to need. Um, how much X do you need? Two thousand two hundred, four thousand four hundred for your next level. Uh, so yeah. you need you're going to be around there. So yeah, four thousand five hundred total. Yeah, I started at four thousand five hundred. Uh, so and two, my two, next 50. level is nine thousand. Yeah. So in that case, yeah, you're you may just be short. So you yeah, just just in terms of whether or not you want to go training or anything. Wow. I wow. guess you can do this attack tonight if you want to and see how it goes. <laughs> Um, yeah, I might as well be involved. Because, I mean, we're going to have to go back into the mine, aren't we, as well? So, Kent probably. Yeah. I was going to say, it, it depends. You can swap, like, as and if you wanted. If you were at a point where you could train after the raid and he was alive, you could train him and use your other character. Yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah, I've got time. another one. Like, as... just step in. Yeah. So, Asher is uh, suggesting some stuff in the um, in the Discord chat, by the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, the classic sting operation would be to to pose as their buyers, but we, that would require us to replace the buyers first. We'd have to find who they were, which I don't think we don't have time. So I think we'll just have to sweep in. Yeah, we'll just have to sweep in, get there early, and like set up so that we're in yeah. position before they get there. If we're doing that, you need to not be dressed to the temple. I mean, we we have the the more subtle option, which is we just let the deal happen, and then follow the buyer, take the weapons off them, and then someone else also follow the, the seller, and we can, you know, beat them up separately. Uh, but then... Well... Yeah. I mean, I mean we could just... Know? We could pick one party to follow. Um, the issue there, then, is if there's a buyer, the buyer ends up with the weapons. So we could get yeah. the buyer and the weapons, but then we can't get the seller, which is the... Uh... Yeah. We don't know if they're weapons, right? There'd be just other magical items of some kind. I know dangerous magical items read, I'm assuming, weaponizable, if not actual magical weapons. What if it's magical medicine for orphans? Uh, then they should have paid their taxes. Uh, okay. My contract is really short, <laughs> and I should probably turn them in. Uh, yeah, but either way, we should like, <laughs> yeah, set up like surveillance. Like get there early, yeah. well before we think the deal is going to be, and find a place mm -hmm. where we can like see everywhere and not be seen by them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So in fact, in fact, it might be useful to go there cool. really early just to scout the area to find a place that we can set up. Yeah. yeah. So I guess pretty much leave once you get back and pick up everyone at about you know at the end of the working day pick them up and then go to then go basically Is i will change into my civvies you have those yeah yes normal lower people clothes <laughs> oh, I do have a hat. Okay. Maybe I should buy a second hat while I'm in town. <laughs> cool. Okay. Okay, so you're going early. Um, any procedure for your surveillance? And then we'll, then we'll roll the encounter as you go to the Harper Precinct, but yeah. And are you taking your one hireling that you have with you? Uh... Yeah, I'll take him. Right, might as well. Yeah, why not? 
Uh, As you leave, by the way, the, 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 old, the old crone calls out, Have fun storming the castle! And uh, goes home to her own house. Um, technically, we can make a door, like, a poison doses every day. What did the old yep, crone in the healer's house think of this while we were just both lying in bed playing with chemistry sex? <laughs> uh, she, yeah, she says, I like to see a young man pick up a hobby. <laughs> And looks very po looks very pointedly at some of the obviously poisonous things that you're mixing in. They're, they're, they're healthy, but they help heal society. What a hobby. Says, oh yes, we could call them a social emetic, couldn't we, my dear? Exactly. Like, she then goes and starts mixing something else that you have to drink. <laughs> It tastes like chalk. It probably is yeah. chalk. It's just punishment drink. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, you're desperate to get out of bed at the end of the administrations. So, you know, whether or not that means you've healed or whether or not you just have the kind of an adrenaline rush of fear. <laughs> you both have healed. You, and Jaitama. Are you taking Jaitama? Um, I guess, should we tell Jaitama about the situation and then? Ask his opinion on the matter. I think we should take Jaitamar and tell him to I mean, stay in the back. He right? says that like, he... use your Cyanex, but don't put yourself say... in danger, yeah. right? Yeah, I guess it's in I his mean, he interest. Can, uh, he because he... if we all yeah, die, he can certainly um, put an intellect fortress over you. He can put an intellect fortress over you to, uh, yeah, to kind of protect you from ESP and stuff. I guess that's his take. Is he can provide uh, electronic warfare. Yeah. Maybe. He oh, does really? need to be fairly close to us for that. But I guess... Yeah, but he can just be second or third rank or whatever it yeah. is. I think because we worked yeah. out it's a 10-foot radius, maybe. So I mean, at his level, get... it's like 10-foot, I think. So If we're getting there early and he's just wearing civilian clothes anyway, he could just be sitting on a park bench near by and... Feeding the lizards or whatever. <laughs> exactly. What was that weird yeah. demon dog that was Wasn't in the this last a scene? I feel like this is a scene in Smiley's People, the um, which is a very good book, by the way. I strongly recommend the uh, fairly early Le Carre books. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, and uh, yeah, so uh, okay. Um, and are you just going to be who's on surveillance watch? Who's actually doing the watching? I feel like it should probably be um, me and Asher, given we can kind of. Yep. Sneak in. Hide in shadows. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, um, all, all we could blend Tom it in Tom has plain not... sight uh, with a performance or something, yeah, but I don't think we want to use that gambit again. Well, of course we need to use that gambit again. We have a permission slip now, right? You don't have Garrus with you now, though, so you don't have the added dancing. Uh, there is that. Um, so the rest of us should be within sight of you two. I don't really know how long that lasts. It's only a few think, rounds, so maybe I can I do it nearer the time. I think there's holding table and a tablecloth for times like this. I have astrology. I can just hold... Tom, do you want to roll the encounter check anyway? Roll a d6. Cool. Roll a d6, Tom. Rut row. Uh, roll a d10 as you go down to <laughs> that's the end of that chapter six hmm. uh, yeah so um out in the the at the long shore as you're heading along the long shore towards the um the rough area you're heading to which i will ping you're heading down here um there is, a, you'll recognise, one of the plebeian tribunes is um, making a speech to a, a crowd um, by, uh, of longer men. Um, and uh, they're kind of shouting to and from him, and he's kind of talking, well, by speech, I mean, he's kind of having a bit of a public consultation with some longshore men. Oh, the plebeian tribune is elected by the people. Yeah. <laughs> it's elected Always by, it's elected by the power. The longshore men <laughs> were were striking or something, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. Did, well, didn't we just didn't we hear that like what the guy in charge of collecting their taxes or something was 
Come up, I've got it written down something. The, the three men of the harbour being squeezed by Praetor Constance. Constance. The yeah. Praetor for works for higher local business rates, all while crime increases. Talk of forming a new guild of longshoremen. So, yeah, they're, they're not quite striking yet, but they're probably on the verge of it. Um, yeah, again, this, to you, the Tribune is uh, manufacturing this whole controversy. <laughs> yeah. I guess... Does, does Quintus know? Is that? Oh, you're about to derail the uh, derail the mission by going and saying, "Let's go and fight this mob and kill this tribune <laughs> because he's definitely breaking the law." That that's, yeah. Um, <clears throat> what were you saying, Alex? Sorry. Is this is this Constance? Do any of us locals know? No, this is a plebeian tribune. So oh, one so of it's, the it's, uh... nominal elected representatives of the common people who. Uh, Unlike in ancient Rome, they don't have legislative power. They are just allowed to represent concerns of the people to the Senate. Oh, so he might be, be ignored. He might be um, one forming a guild. Ah, he's, a, he's, um, a, he's an agitator. <laughs> and and is there also a rule, like in ancient Rome, that you're not allowed to touch a tribune, or do they not have that? Uh, you, you you have to have a warrant out on them. Okay. Well, well that happens. Like, like, Plebeian like, tribunes get killed at a moderately high rate, um, but uh, uh, sometimes by accident. Of course. You know, just, well, yeah, accidents accident, happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going. I'm going to suggest that we stay on mission. Like we have a goal, and as corrupt as these tribunes have proven themselves to be. Uh, we should perhaps deal with this later. What a good yeah. idea, Sir Templar. I yeah, mean, we're... Small chocolate, I would give it to you right now. We're a little bit early, so perhaps we can walk slowly <laughs> past, maybe listen in to get some of the gist of what is being said. But yeah, otherwise I agree. Yeah, yeah. No, what I, he, it's not a secret, certainly. Uh, but yeah, he is... Um, this guy is obviously receiving complaints about what's been happening... Um, and uh, yeah, he's uh, uh, yeah he's part, somewhat just trying to explain what he can do. Like he can lay a complaint against Constance in the Senate. Um, and uh, yeah, there's you know so you hear someone call out about like uh, uh, well uh, they, they, he, Constance wouldn't mess around with the Guild, would he? And uh, the Tribune sort of uh, shrugs and says, well, uh, you know that uh, the, uh, the 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 Praetors uh, who are here to preserve our city's order, of course. Then there's a kind of a bit of uh, mumbling and booing. Um, but he says, uh, uh, may, may not look kindly upon that. It, you'd have to be pretty, uh, you'd have to know what you're doing. You'd have to be very uh, diplomatically sound. I, but uh, he says, but of course these things are possible. Our, our beloved dictator does recognize, uh, does recognize guilds well, on average once per decade. Perhaps this could be the chance. I'm really tempted to find, like, agitate things further. <laughs> no particular <laughs> Asher disappears. Uh, cool. Uh, assuming that you... I, I'm assuming for now that you're not doing any further interference. Obviously, you, you can, Asher, if you desire. Uh, but no. assuming you're not, let's let the just switch to this. Um, yeah. So... Uh, yeah, you will arrive at um, a yeah at the longshore. Uh, I will just mark if I can the limits of the Silt Sea. Uh, so, for instance, you've got a bit of beach there. Um, bit of beach here like down onto the silt this area there's not any big keys there's there is some light very small skimmers uh for um yeah for probably for hunters of the uh, like you go out into the bay i guess a bit like how gargi has a i mean his is an air thing but this is more like that kind of size you know just a one man skimmer to uh basically go go hunting at some of the in the shallows the relative shallows it's a dangerous trade but very lucrative and sometimes they go out together so 
Yeah. Uh, there is a triangle is a hut. Uh, this is the drop. In fact, there is one other hut uh, visible in the area. Further down there, which has a little crow's nest at the top. It has like a spotting point. And if we want to put someone then there, we could, but I'm happy just to lounge around in the street occasionally offer and tell people's fortunes. Uh, how busy is this area? How many people are like walking around? Um, it's 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 quieter, but it's still it's still along the shore, so you still got a recent decent number of people. There are some further up, uh, away from the beach. Uh, there, you, like off off the map to the left, as you see it, uh, there are some inns and a few other huts and stuff. This is right down on the beach that you're you're meant to be spotting. So you can be if you want. Let's say <coughs> over here, you know. Yeah, so if, if the group was like 50 feet away, but the bards were like where we think the drop will happen, we can keep eye contact on them, but still be mm. in the just in the crowd, but away from and them. And there is a... Yeah. Yeah. There is also a uh, well uh, up in the northwest, the top left, that I've just uh, revealed. That spot there. I mean, if I was making a of illicit goods, I would probably just, yeah, isn't like spy, isn't that like classic spy stuff? You dump your notes in like a, a dead a, box a, a dead well. drop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, one party drops something off. The next party, at some point in the future, just picks it up innocuously. I think I feel like fountains are a classic one for that. But wells, quite similar. Yeah. Or it could be the huts. Could be in the huts. Well, we'll just keep an eye open. I think. We just need to be looking everywhere all the time. Yep. Yeah, look in every direction. Uh, should I get some of uh, your? Um, I'll get your character markers out. Shall I? That's probably a good idea. I'm sitting on a bench by the well, reading a newspaper. <laughs> you were done the paper. Well done. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That is the wrong thing. That's fine. Okay, there is Asher, Adriad. I'm just dumping you all out for now. Nasir, I do have. I like Nasir's picture. I like what I've got for Nasir. Um, and Quintus. Oh, uh, Tom and um, Tom and Joe, you did miss last time when the discovery was that Quintus is a literal fascist. Uh, <laughs> I got a little picture of a Roman lictor. Wow. Um, and oh, come on. So yeah, where are you each wanting to go? What's your spotting area? Would you say? I mean, yeah. I'm just gonna score. I'm just gonna go and sit on the outside of the well, just sort of overlooking the square. Yeah, I think I think um, okay. Nasir would probably go with Ashja. Um, maybe like have his uh, his tumbler out, not quite performing, but just like you know, as 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 if kind of. Um, is 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 there is there a name for when you're like just play a few chords, making up a new song, or just that kind of thing? Jamming, you know? jamming, yeah, jamming. A little, a little bit of casual Noodling. jamming. Um, <laughs> Noodling. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Ashia. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, uh, bring me up to speed on the situation. Um, we're staking out the square like a catch. The horrible nefarious criminal Nerdwells. Um, we've got 
a well up in this corner yonder. These two triangles are put just in the square, okay. and there was additional description which I should remember. Um, We're on the beach. Like, by the beach. Yeah. And we just yeah, trying to figure out what the best positions are to take to keep an eye on things and, you know, not get killed. Okay. <clears throat> when the plan inevitably goes sour. Yeah. So, Jay, the this triangle, if you watch my ping, that is the hut you've been told to watch. There is another hut further down here. Uh, there's... Um, uh, that, that one's got like a, a little uh, top bit, like a crow's nest almost. These represent areas of beach. And this back here, that's that's not actually where an inn is, but there's like that's just in front of an inn. And over here in the top left, there's a well there. So the bards have gone to sit by the well. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm probably uh, in a better position over there rather than any closer than I need to be. What, with the uh, bards? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Quintus and Kent. I've also got Jai Tamar and your shield bearer out. <clears throat> I am on the beach, uh, sunscreen on my nose, uh, in a speedo, building a sandcastle facing west so I can watch <laughs> the huts. Blending in. Yep. Which is a very skewed idea of what in. civilians do with their time. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is what you plebs do, isn't it? <laughs> and Kent. Um, I mean, I'm, I guess I'll just hold my ground for now. As in, where? Where are you holding your ground? In some nearby shadows, so that if I need to, I can go into shadow form and sneak around. What? So, by the inn? By the other shack? Ah, uh, it wants to be... Yeah, by the inn is fine. Yeah, I'll probably get a slightly better map for our purposes for next time. And where do you want Jai to Jai Probably you want to be with your biggest group for instance. Try, but uh, we'll figure that out as we go. Yeah. Since there's no water yep, here. Yeah, great. No, that's fine. There's no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say there's a bit, the, the, there is more moisture here than elsewhere, like because the, um, the water table is higher, but... Like that's very limited. That's by water table. We're talking about artesian well water table, so it's not that much moisture. Yeah. You're just we can't just go down to the um, sea ambient. and get some wet sand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the the water the water table is not associated with the sea here. It is associated with the fact you are closer to artesian wells. Cool. So instead, me and the shield bearer will just um, throw a frisbee back and forth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you start playing the music from that scene in Top Gun Maverick. Um, Play it with the boys. Uh, great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Meanwhile, <laughs> you've got the, you've got the jam session up by the well, and uh, then Kent just uh, kind of sl like sloping around somewhere else. Um, cool. Okay, so. Uh, as night kind of evening falls, begins to get darker, uh, you continue to... The people are around, people are coming, more people are at the inn, Kent, some longshoremen, some local hunters, some kind of beggars, probably. Uh, what you... Um, yeah, what you will see um, at, at kind of late twilight, early nightfall, is entering the um, uh, the shack, kind of coming coming from the west, uh, coming from um, kind of south of the well, north of the inn, you see a cloaked figure um, wearing kind of a full full robe uh, with a hood up, uh, 
with three uh, slouching armed figures, you know, perhaps uh, the kind of people who would present themselves as bouncers or um, um, caravan guards. Uh, they're not it. They're not. They don't have any uh, obvious swatch on them or anything from a mercenary company, uh, and they head toward the um, the shack. Uh, and uh, there is some sort of uh, exchange at the door of the shack. Kind of this. It's a ten by ten shack. Uh, there's a knock, kind of knock on the door or something, and some kind of conversation, which will probably be out of earshot. And then. Um, they are allowed in. You see probably a single figure at that door. Okay. I think we should probably start moving in now. I think this is the yeah. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, you're you're uh, is it that you're just gonna converge on it? Um by the way, Jaitamar will have intellect have had intellect fortress up and he can maintain it for quite a long time, I think, a moderate amount of time. So probably at the point where you're fully set, you'll have put it up on that um, group up there. Oh, that's a good point, actually. If we're converging in now, I would also like to activate, I would also like to put my flesh armor on. Okay, roll that now, because we're finished now, obviously, we'll do this next time. You may have yeah. Gola next time as well. Okay, um, 13. Yep. What's like... your relevant skill? Um, I've written it down, uh, I just need to remember where I've written it down. I believe it's con, which is 13. And it may have a modifier. If it's straight con, then I can, yeah. I can, I, I mean, I can check that. Um, um, but yes, great. Now. I kind of believe I didn't write that down late. <laughs> Yeah, um, I tend to on uh, character sheets. If I'm doing a manual character sheet, I tend to put the score for MWPs and Sonics next to them, so that I, you. I, I, I it, you know what you have to get. That's why I'm so surprised I didn't fully flesh armor. It's con minus three. Okay. So it's um, Kent, is that a fail? Kent then? is our is our big like brute like muscle guy. Out of out of all yep. of us, like, yep. like yeah. you're. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, con minus three. Is I've got to roll under my con minus three, then get it. You'd need ten or less if your con is thirteen. Okay, you yeah. spend half the uh, PPs. Cool. Okay. okay. Um, any yeah? Uh, any other final notes before we wrap up for the night? Before you storm no. storm the room, SWAT team style. I feel like. Yeah, I feel like I want to see what's... I was going to cast something, but now I feel like um, we should wait till I see what's inside first. If we're just first. storming it, is there any point in me going shadow form? Can I get a surprise on them or something like that? Can you go... Uh, like, what shadow does form do? doesn't count do for us? I believe so. I can only be detected by, like, life. Or, I think it does. And I can just, like, drop out of it and then attack people. Life sense, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would that allow you to, like, yeah. enter the shack have without to... opening the door? You may be. Uh, I just can't do anything physically, and I'm attached to shadow, so I don't know if um, I don't know if that counts. I assume I can't just I can't open the door, and I can't just pass through it. Like it's no like it's no business. Because we won't surprise them if we have to open the door anyway, right? Like yeah, they'll know we're there as soon as the door opens. Yeah, that's a good point. Were there windows? Yeah, there, were, there probably weren't windows. There's none. Yeah. No, no windows. My plan was to cast aid on you before any physical action starts. Um, mm. I mean, my plan is just to make sure that all my all my poison knives are in the correctly labeled sheets and wing it. Yeah, you travel through darkness and shadow, living shadow, up to twenty pounds of equipment, unless you get a one, in which case your clothes don't turn into shadow. <laughs> Um, hmm. I think if you're traveling through darkness and you are like a sh you bl um, yeah you blend into shadow. I think if you get your power score, you might become incorporeal. Um, in terms of you might actually be able to go through. But yeah, so if you want to roll that, Kent, go for it. Uh, yep. Okay. That's a d20. It, well, sorry, if you want to. I was going to say, if you want to. I guess it means you can get to the door, or you could come go and listen at it or something. That's the main yeah, thing. Yeah, I might as well do that. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. Might as well use it. If, it. if you can instantly drop out of it, then it's not really a... Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, that succeeds. Rolling under con minus six, which in my case would be 12, so a 10 will succeed. So I blend into the shadows and go up to the door. Yeah. Try and listen. And then I yeah, guess the, you the, the yeah, only, get, get the, the only door. thing I'm thinking in the back of my mind is what if there is some sort of like ladder down that the shack, it's not just the shack, the shack is actually just an entrance to some like underground base. You know, if we use too many resources busting in, and then we have to like go down into an underground area and it's all gone again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I wanted to see what was inside the shack first. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, well, what we'll do is Kent, we'll leave Kent as having slipped up to it whilst Quintus, I guess, is signaling for everyone to begin their approach. Okay. Um, sound good? We'll leave it as in that's yeah. a good place to leave it, probably. Uh, in yeah. terms of that, then, means we know that that's where we start. Um, remember, quick, Kent, that you are using PP. Okay, guys, good session. We'll start next time on you breaking in, I guess. That is the currently the 20th of July. Cool. cool. Right. Yay. Thanks so. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank Good you. session. Yep. Yep. I yeah. will end the stream. Thanks for tuning in, people who have tuned in. Um, goodbye. Bye. Bye.